For more than 200 years, mariners have relied on the United Kingdom Hydrographic Office to provide admiralty charts and publications to keep them safe at sea. Well, now the shipping industry is embracing the digital revolution, which has transformed the way that UKHO provides maritime information to global shipping and defence organisations. Our reporter has more. With a world-class reputation, the UKHO supports maritime decision-making across the globe. We take data from around the world, hydrographic data, geospatial data, and we use that to make products and services that inform decision-making. So we support people that are making decisions in, in shipping, uh, protecting the environment, um, and, and of course defence. We have a huge amount of data coming into us from our global contacts on a daily basis. So on a 24-7 timeline, we have a team of experts, subject matter experts, who are looking at that data, analysing that data, determining whether it needs to go out to the mariner instantly or it can wait for a new edition of a chart or to be issued in a week's time. But our fundamental point is to make sure that that data, when it comes into us, is transferred, put out to the mariner and making sure that the mariner is kept safe at sea. The UKHO's Admiralty products are world-renowned. They're used by 90% of ships that trade internationally. We offer a wide range of products and the most comprehensive um, geographical coverage available on the market. We have um, over 3,500 standard nautical charts in our global series, um, 14,000 ENCs and over 250 um, publications. And they help the um, mariner satisfy legal requirements around the carriage of nautical charts and publications. While its reputation dates back over 220 years, the UKHO has been at the forefront of the digital transition. You've gone from a situation where somebody was taking a single sounding with a lead line and now they're using multi-beam sonar which is creating millions of points of data over a certain given area. Just think about that and how that might translate across all of the data that we're getting in. Using modern technology isn't optional. Big data technology, data modelling, software analysis, software development, those are the tools that actually allow us to deal with that volume of data and continue to provide the products and services that we do. The UKHO listens to the needs of the maritime community. It's this collaboration, in combination with the depth and breadth of its marine geospatial data, which the UKHO handles, that has enabled it to innovate and bring new products to market. One of the examples where we've drawn on mariner's feedback is the port approach guides and these um, make entry and exit into port far simpler and easier and they're very complementary to either paper or digital navigation. At the heart of the information and supporting technology provided for the Royal Navy and the global shipping industry is the integrity of data based on one key priority. Safety. Delivering safety, delivering data in a timely format, working with other nations to make sure that we have the most up-to-date data available to enable the mariner to execute his tasks at sea safely and effectively. As well as offering world-leading admiralty maritime products and services, the UKHO works with partners to raise standards in hydrography, cartography and navigation. This includes supporting the shipping industry in its adoption of ECDIS. We've got people here who are acknowledged experts in their field. We've been contributing directly to the development of digital standards, working with the International Hydrographic Organization, working with other hydrographic offices, making sure that the new technology is available and fit for purpose. Um, and in fact, working with industry as well. So going out, running training seminars, going out and making sure that shipping companies understand the implications of the new technology and what benefits it can bring to them in terms of operational efficiency and safety and all of those sorts of things. We need to remain adaptable. We need to remain agile to make sure that as technology moves forward the needs of the mariner both today and into the future are met by this organization.